Hello everyone, my name is Asbagan and welcome back to the channel and today I'll be reacting to Hell of a Boss Season 1 Episode 3. Now without further ado, without holding on too much ceremony, let's get right into it. No need to hold up on that. Viewer discretion is advised. I love this song! High octane energy. These episodes always start off with so much of it. Oh shit, Verosica. What? Verosica? I should have known you'd be here. I can smell fish for miles, which is odd because I believe the nearest ocean is three rings down. And I should have known you'd be here when I heard the Amber Alerts. Oh yeah. I'm surprised they let your fat ass out of rehab. I can see you're still a drunken whore, clutching onto that Bielsa juice bottle like it's the last cock in hell. They let me out because I'm still famous, and rehab is for sad the blues and wash-ups. Hey. So your sister says hi. Why are you parking here? This is the only parking spot my company has, so take your tampon race car somewhere else. Actually, prick, it has my name on it. I'm doing that a bit of freelance looks like for one of the infinitely over, more successful companies in the building. No And they wanted way. to have me come in this week to lead their team during spring break. A week? Uh, no, no, you are not parking here for a fucking week. Aw, you mad blitzo. You gonna run off, leaving someone else to pay for the hotel room, steal their car and, and run, run three, three rings to rap, rap and, and max my credit, credit cards card on, on shitty, shitty horse, horse riding, riding lessons? lessons? God damn it, whore, you will not let that go. Choke on a sandpaper cock. Damn. Hold on. They have history. Those, right now or I'm gonna... They were either friends, really close friends, or dated. Or I'll, um, uh, I'll call HR. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, meet my new hellhound, Vortex. Unlike you, he actually does his job well. Tata Fuckstein. Ugh, I wasted so much time with a bag of holes like that. You know Verosica Mayday? Huh? Oh, yeah, her. Yeah, we dated. Was it before yeah, dated. or yeah. after she became a pop star? You dated a pop star! Okay, why are you all <laughs> acting like that's such a shock? Hello, it's Verasica Mayday. It's you? I just... Is she blind? <coughs> Suffering some form of brain damage. Okay, look, you are all making this into a way bigger deal than it needs to be. I don't pry into your stupid personal lives. You do that! I totally do that. Time, yeah. sir. What was sex with her like? Billy! What? It's a pop star! You want to know what sex with Michael Crawford was like. Touche. Okay, look, let's just drop it. <laughs> Millie, find a temporary spot for that truck. Okay, Looney, Moxie, let's go handle this shit. <laughs> Fuck, I did my makeup shitty today. Oh, you look perfect, Looney. Like always. Shut up, Dad. Oh, she almost got him dead. Oh, I just did you. Oh. Someone did t let me know that. Blitzo adopted her as well in the Hi, expanded man. Universal War. Bag of an employer. She's in her office. There wasn't room on the sucky floor, so they rented one here on this one. Cheaper. Oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, no, you don't, bitch. Sir, how about you let me go in and try to reason with her? I don't really listen to what's classified as pop genre music, so her status to me is name recognition alone. <laughs> Just ghosting him. <laughs> of... Shut the fuck up. Alrighty then. Hello, Miss Verasica. Was it? I work for Imp, and it is actually rather important for us to retain the singular parking space we were assigned because. Aw, look at the little one. He's got a widow bow tie. Please don't condescend me, ma'am. I. Wanna kiss you, little guy? A kind offer, uh -oh. but I'm married. Hey. Why don't you send a little message from me back to your limp dick boss? Don't touch that! Foxy, don't let her access any of your holes! I... I gotta go lie down now. Oh, this won't stand! <laughs> All right! That's it! If you're gonna be shitty to my employees, then I challenge you to a fucking challenge. I challenge Fuck, you to I a fucking twice. challenge. Mm. Is this imp boy starting a demon duel? I think he is. What's the game then, Blitzo? Every year you ST I just hold on. For easy I just noticed Blitzo? that. 
I could, you know, the the crosses on that uh, on that heart really make it hard to tell. That looks like a B. It's in, it's in cursive as well, so I can't tell. I I, I initially thought it might say Blitzo, but it doesn't look because that looks like a five at the end right there. I don't know. That might say Blitzo on it, but I don't think so. I, I I can't tell that that cross out is too strong, but uh, let me let me know if that's what that's supposed to say is Blitzo. Oh, that that's interesting. Every year, you STD spreaders go up top side for easy pickings, while spring break is a prime time for crime of all kinds. So I bet you suck, you bitches, can't fuck as many people as we can off by the end of the day. <laughs> oh, so it's a fuck serious. off kill off? Game on, bitch. All right, shut your assholes. Here's how we're gonna do this shit. First, we find a fuck ton of clients. We portal up. We have our fun murder time as per usual. We pile all the bodies into a big fucking canoe. We push said canoe into SS some water. Come we light it on fire to attract the sharks and eagles and shit. Maybe a goose too. Fuck it. They come and eat the bodies. We win the bet. We rub it in that sloppy bitch's drunken whore ass face. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah. Why was that nonsense? That wasn't a question. That wasn't a plan. I'm sorry, but that was a flawless presentation of what we should do, Mox. It's not my fault you got a smooth little brain upstairs. A what now? I'm calling you slow, Moxie. God, why don't you learn to take criticism, you talentless baby dick troll? Well, why don't you take an art class? Why don't you see how expensive they are? Hey, is there a way I can come with you guys this time? It's not like time? debates between Absolutely me and my not. sister. I forbid it. Not gonna happen. Sorry, sweetie. Spring break is no place for young, vulnerable goth girls. You know the kind of freaks up there who drool all over you. Well, I can blend in with humans easy enough. Just let me tag along. Wait, say that again. I can blend in. Is that a, re Do you have Was that a reference disguise? to the Rule 34 yeah, made of you? her? You three have been screwing around on Earth this whole fucking time without human disguises? <laughs> okay, new plan. Wait, they can have human disguises? Somebody can help lure the humans to us, and we'll take care of the rest. Okay, how about that? Flawless logic. I think you're missing the biggest issue, sir. Isn't it crucial to have a client who demands enough kills to win this bet? We aren't just going up to massacre. I got that covered, Mox. Now, we wait. Sir... There is no way we are going to get enough clients by the end of the day with one poorly spelled bad grammar flyer. <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> now, who's first? Now remember, we can't be seen, pills. all right? And loose shots will likely cause a panic, so Luna can help with leading targets to a better spot to off them. You got the list, Looney. <laughs> Got it. Oh, Looney, look at you. You look downright awful. I am so proud. Now, bitch! All right, question, question for the comment, uh, comment section. If you were approached by a girl who looked like that, you know, whatever your preference may be, uh, and she did that, like, <laughs> would you go? My answer? Yes. Even if there was an, uh, uh, the chance that I'd be killed, there was still the chance it might be real, too. Just saying. I have low standards. <laughs> Kills in the bag. I'd like to see that whaley snatch orgasm that many. Alright, spring breakers. Y'all ready to get fucked up and make some bitches bad choices? Fire! Yeah! Oh, this is your final boarding call. All aboard. Fuck you, Blitzo. <laughs> Guys, it's time. Break the bone down. Break the bone down. 
the rule 34 from this episode must have been extreme. God damn it! That bitch started her goatish mating call. Now she's gonna win all these sex maniacs. We gotta pick things up, guys. See you on the list, Looney. Huh? Yeah, I, I think so. Done! Whoa, whoa, what are you? A leprechaun? <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> but you sure shit ain't gonna tell nobody. All right, next one, Looney, come on. Looney, wait, what? 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 Where's oh, my baby? she 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 got a thing for the body guy. She drinking. You? Jesus. Oh, That's some good hey. shit. Turn the fish into a monster. Freaky eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if that's weird. It's cool. Her beef ain't mine. I'm not paid enough to care. Yeah, yeah. I'm Luna. <laughs> okay. Hey, Vortex! <laughs> that's hot. I mean, like, literally, you know, because Vortex is, you know, they give off heat. Young love. Probably. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. I guess. But my friends call me Tex. Oh yeah? I wish I had friends. <laughs> I mean no, I mean I don't I I, I I don't have friends. Am I interrupting something? Nah, man. Just having a conversation. Conversation leads to HPV. And we've lost him. <sighs> it's looking like it's up to us to handle this list. Hell yeah! Team M and M getting shit done, making the money. <laughs> oh no, I never noticed that. Team M and M. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. I think it's, I'm it's pretty sure someone shit. probably commented something like that on a previous so video. Important that you'd be distracted <laughs> from your <laughs> job. What? I can't have a break. We have a parking spot on the line. Hey, dude, why don't you chill out? Why don't you stay out of it? Okay, this is our business. Literally. Oh, fuck, Blitz! Why can't you stay out of my face for like five minutes? Because I adopted you. And that should mean something. Oh, what does it matter? You're not my real dad. I was almost 18. It still counts. Well, it shouldn't. I didn't need you then, asshole. I don't now. Yeah, and some of the serious drops in these episodes. Uh, let's. I'm. Enjoy your break, Looney. I'm gonna go kill something. Uh. Damn, girl, that was savage. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, he's he's a cool it. dude. At least he always does. <laughs> I'm glad you can stick up for yourself at least. Mm. Takes guts. Thanks. Moxie! He drunk. Hi. Hey, hey, where did you get four heads? I wanna kiss him. Do you see that lover boy? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have thrown the flask. Might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Technically still a fish, I suppose. <laughs> Don't deny the power of the mini! <laughs> I swear, if she pulls one of those moves where she like slices it like neck to stomach, he's punching in the uvula. <laughs> this is 
Dude, what's she, what was she drinking? Are we gonna get lore on that or some, some crap? Clearly it wasn't just booze. She totally pegs you, doesn't she? <laughs> That's a good laugh. I love that woman. She totally pegs you. Oh yeah, it's fine. This is funny. I'm so. Drinking. <laughs> okay, you. this is too wholesome for my liking. Blitzo. Oh, perfect! That must be the whores. That was handled rather obvious, don't you think? I don't think this belonged to any of us. Would be a shame if anyone found out you guys were behind a giant monster fish in the human world. <laughs> oh, Satan! <laughs> You've all been so fucked! <laughs> yeah, well, you three nasty ass gremlins will be in shit for not being in disguises. A human called me a possum. I am not a possum! You know, we could keep this. We all have had a friend like that city. who's been that way. We've all had a friend like that. Space. Unless you're under 18, then you better not have had a friend Fine. who was that way. We drunk. fucking what? <laughs> Fuck yeah! In your face, bitch! Come on, let's get out of here. Tex! Well, guess it's time to bounce. But hey, if you ever down to party. I'll give you a ring sometime. Really? Ooh. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Love, love, yeah. love progressing? Yeah. My girlfriend throws a ton of crazy hound parties. Nice. Can't wait Ooh. for my first one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you some friends, girl. Come on, Looney Tooney. Ooh. Let's go back and park our fat fucking car in Ooh. our fat fucking space. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That was bad. I've had the I've had that kind of moment though before. That's Put happened to me. Your hands up, you sick deviants! All right, sluts, get ready to suck a lot of pig dick. Uh. Well, at least you guys are professionals at it. Okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that was that was a fun episode. Definitely not a ton to say about this one, though. That's for sure. Well, there might be. Let's get to it. All right, so that was episode three of Hell of a Walsh, and it was a hell of an episode. <laughs> it, 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 it was fun. Um, You know, my my prayer of sorts, I guess, from the previous episode of wanting to uh, wanting to check out... Uh, I wanted to see Lo uh, Looney, or is that her name? Uh, is her real name Luna and Blitzo just calls her Looney? Or is her name actually Looney? Um, either way, you know, I was interested to get some more backstory on her. Uh, or I guess get more characterization at the very least. And, um, you know, I was happy to, I'm, ha I'm happy to see that she actually, uh, did get some of that this episode. Not a ton, not a ton. It's not like it was entirely focused on it. It was definitely a, the B plot. Uh, plot A. <laughs> they were having a kill fuck off with succubuses and that's the charm of this show that you can have a setup like that so <laughs> i'm not complaining <laughs> oh by the way which team would you guys be on would you guys be on the murder team or would you guys be on the the fucky team <laughs> uh god <laughs> if anyone wondering i would probably uh, be on the murder team i not ain't nothing about this gonna be able to sell uh sell sexual interest <laughs> uh but uh Oh, pretty good with a rifle. I think I'd be. I think I'd be. I think I'd be good on Blitzo's team. Um. So yeah, but with the Luna stuff, it, it, we definitely got. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I knew that uh, Blitzo adopted her, and that's their connection. Is that she's in, in essentially his adopted daughter of sorts? You know, uh, which was interesting here. I always f pictured or figured that that meant like he adopted her, like when she was like a puppy version, but. 
she said she was 18. Does that mean 18 months or 18 years? I'm assuming 18 years, so I'm not sure. Uh, I do like that, that that part of the episode, though, where she almost called him dad, which means she definitely... That was the instinctual way she was going to call, like, address him, which means she does see him as her dad, but she's not wanting to, like, call him that. Uh, I guess because she doesn't want to give him the satisfaction. Uh, you know, that rebellious teenager aspect, I suppose. Which, uh, you know, we've all been there. You know, we've all, like, loved our parents, but we've all had, like, that that moment in our in our lives, whether it's teenagerhood or young adult life or... Uh, hell, you could be a, like a 40 year old and you just had a bad, like maybe had a, like a bad runoff with your dad and you just don't want to call him that. And you just call him, Hey, you know, what's up, Mike? <laughs> like we've all had those moments. Where we've had that fight with our parents, whether it's because our parents are being overprotective or, or we perceive them as being overprotective, but they were just being protective enough. You know, we've all had those like jab moments and those rebellious moments of sorts. And, uh, you know, I can, I can definitely relate to that, but I'd say, uh, it's very telling though that her first her first response though was going to be dad. So she definitely sees him as that. She just uh, probably has some just misgivings about it, or maybe internal guilt about it. I don't, I'm not sure. I might be reading too much into that. I'm curious. To, uh, I'm curious to look into that more. <clears throat> but uh, I, ooh, I, I felt bad for her though when the the other hellhound was like, yeah, yeah, my girl, <laughs> my girl would <laughs> love to. <laughs> have parties I was like ah ooh, ooh, yeah ooh. been there sister been there <laughs> ooh, ah he yeah uh, i've been chatting up a girl and she was like oh yeah my boyfriend loves that stuff I'm like mm. pride ego <laughs> gone sense of confidence <laughs> gone <laughs> we've all been there it sucks Oh God, I could sympathize with that though. That 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 would have sucked. But um, I don't know. I'm curious. This I'm, I am definitely curious to see if we get like more on Luna though. I I feel like we uh we didn't we got a nice little uh, hint at like what's going on up there in her head and uh you know gotten to know her a little bit more. I you know but with like with like with Stolas and like with Blitzo himself or Million Moxie, like with any of the characters in the show, I really want to get to know all of them more. Uh, but at the same time, this is one of those shows where they all have like a set personality and a, a set way of looking at things. And I doubt that's going to evolve too much at this point, by the way, you know, I, you know, maybe we'll hit an arc where we'll see some changes into them. The other question is, do you want that to be this kind of series? You know, do you want hell of a boss to have characters who, change a lot over the course of the series or do you want them to change in small ways but more or less be the same awesome characters that we liked from the beginning i kind of want the latter of those you know those typical i guess formulations of stories and characters in these kinds of shows and uh, i kind of want it to be well kind of like the the parks and recreations or the family guys or the you know like those kinds of shows where they're kind of always the same characters. They may have these moments where they're a little bit, uh, you know, we're a little bit of uh, more immersion into who they are and a little bit more about them. But we always want them to be the same and kind of just enjoy them for who they are with each episode and with each adventure that they go on. And we don't really want want there to be uh, too much. I, it feels weird to phrase it like that, but too much evolution, you know. I guess it, another way to word it would be it's just the right amount of stagnation. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's, it's weird to word what I'm trying to say. I'm hoping you guys understand where I'm, what I'm trying to say, but if you're not, I can't blame you. I'm not the best at wording that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I, I think I'm pretty much, um, uh, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I guess the relationship between Blitzo and, uh, what was her name? Uh, Viz, Vistoria, Viz, it's like Victoria, but it's like a twist on the, the name style of uh, that chick kind of interested to hear more about them again that heart tattoo she had on i'm not sure if that said blitzo or it's it looked like it started with a b but whatever the case it was crossed out to the the cross out lines were too thick for me to tell what was said uh, what was the name underneath it but I, I would like that to be a hint at something like maybe they were really close maybe one time they really loved each other and then something just kind of fell through the cracks real hard uh, i'd be curious to see that because I'm kind of down for a relationship like that being set up. Uh, I think it'd be fitting between Blitzo and the uh, the Imp and uh, uh, Blitzo the Imp and 
uh, Vistoria, Victoria, whatever her name is, the succubus. I don't know. Something about that I, I think is interesting. And maybe we'll learn more about her as well, because we kind of got, we, we just got introduced to her, and she's very surface level at the moment as well. But uh, all in all, I think that rounds up my thoughts. Uh, there's not much more about the episode to discuss. As always, animation was top tier. I'm very curious to hear what the fuck was in that flask, because I thought it was booze, but May, well, maybe it was. Maybe maybe hell booze turn. You know, if if uh, I don't know, applied to a person or something in the living world, or on the on the world on the earth plane, that mutates them into something demonic. Maybe that's something. I, I don't know. You know, the hardcore fans of uh, of Vizzy Pop's works will probably tell me if you read the graphic novel or comic or whatever it is out there. You know, uh, let me know. Don't spoil too much. Just give me, like, the, the bare bones. You know, like, hey, you know, what was in that flask wasn't booze or it was. And, you know, this is the effect it has on this uh, this world. And here's why. Just the ba- just the basics. <clears throat> uh, no need to, uh, no, I guess no need to give me, like, the full soliloquy uh, or monologue or whatever. Um, I'm trying to think. Nope, that just about does it. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to see more of this. This is the latest episode that's been out. Uh, hopefully, we'll see more from Hell of a Boss soon. And so, oh, I hope soon we get like an official season one, episode one of uh, Has Been Hotel, and we see that really hitting off. You know, I, I'd love to. I, I'd love to see that progress. Um, all in all, yep, yeah, that's everything. Uh, <laughs> what did you guys think of the episode? Uh, you know, if, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, as always, to Vizzy Pop, if you have a problem with these reactions, please reach out to me. Let me know so I can take them down on your behalf. And I deeply apologize if you do. If you don't, thank you so much for being such an awesome creator and uh, giving inspiration and uh, hope to smaller people, you know, who aren't, you know, s- uh, tied directly to Hollywood and don't have some nepotism to help them out when if they, you know, want to make it big in entertainment, you know, whether they want to be a comedian, whether they want to be an animator, want to be a 3D modeler, designer, whatever the case may be, you know, products like this really give hope to uh, us on this front, I guess. And uh, I guess it opens that door of hope that a lot of us have to be entertainers and creators. Uh, I'll use that as a segue to also say, you know, hey, if you hate, you know, reactions and are currently typing in the comment section, oh, you lazy son of a bitch, how dare you? Uh, just leech off all these awesome creators. You, you learn, learn a talent, you son of a bitch. Me, me, me. Good news for you. Um, in the pinned comment and in the description, there is a link to my main channel. Yes, the first thing that you're gonna see is probably, especially, uh, well, the very first thing you see at the top of the page is my current ongoing series of lore for 40k, Warhammer 40k in a nutshell. I put a lot of hard work, passion, research, and scripting into those episodes. Uh, but in my popular section, the first two things you're gonna see are reactions. Unfortunately, I do do 40k react, uh, 40k related reactions over there. They're very rarely though. Uh, I had I did one just this last week, but otherwise that's the first reaction I've done on that channel in almost a year. Uh, I rarely do them over there because well they're not the con- they're not the main source of content over there. 40k is I do miniature painting videos, I do live streams where I play games, and I do some recorded let's plays where there's a lot of editing and careful work to be super entertaining in those. Oh, no, there's just a plethora of stuff I think plenty of people will enjoy over on the main channel. So please go check that out and uh otherwise thank you guys so much for watching my name is ben asmagon and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye